Good morning, everybody. That's the gate that we parked in front of yesterday. And I was the first one through it this morning. There still hasn't been anybody here yet, so I was in a rush to beat no one, apparently. did get empty so I'm headed up to Thief River Falls right now I'm gonna switch trailers there for a loaded trailer and then I'm gonna head up towards uh, Manitoba again drop that off and we'll get ready to pick up another one of these probably the next day we'll see what happens but yeah, it was really quick the guys here are great they helped me roll up my tarps and they helped me uh, with the straps and everything they were done unloading me before I was even done rolling up my straps. So they were quick, they were on a mission and I like that. I love delivering here, it's a great place. So some of you ask every now and then why I don't show the pickup and delivery process more. Well, sometimes it just doesn't work out. Sometimes there's just no time. Sometimes I just gotta get my equipment put away and get out of there as fast as I can to get out of the way for other people. And today I'm in a bit of a rush as well. I'm trying to get home. So I'm just quickly showing you guys what we're starting the day off with. And I gotta rush. I gotta rush over to Thief River and rush home because we got some projects to get done today yet at the house. So let's get trucking. I try to show as much as I can and when it works out, when I got the time, that's the right place, right time. Yeah, I, I like to show the, the loading and unloading process because I understand that's a very interesting part of trucking. You know, driving and the scenery is a great part. But also how they load the product sometimes. Sometimes I got a crane, sometimes there's big forklifts. So yeah, I, I try to show as much as I can, but yeah. Let's get out there. expensive I don't want to break anything and I want it to last you know this truck's got over 1.8 million Engine miles meters. excuse me, right on. Excuse Washington me. Street excuse me. excuse me I telling a story 1.8 million miles on the truck and uh, just a little over 3 million kilometers and it's still running great the engine's not that old the engine's a lot newer than that but uh, I want it to last a long time meters, yet. Turn right on Washington Street, NM210. I want to get this thing past 5 million kilometers, past uh, 3 million miles. And obviously the engine will have to be replaced or redone in that time. I need to get the frame sandblasted and painted. Replace a whole bunch of other stuff, but... The way the market is, it's still cheaper to keep replacing parts, even when they're expensive parts, than it is to buy a brand new truck. I guess I could have gone on the red, eh? I'm a little nervous when I'm in like different places. Like Minnesota feels like a second home. Minnesota feels like a second home to me. But I also, I don't know what everyone's laws are regarding right turns on red. I think they're illegal in Quebec, but I think they're illegal everywhere else, right? You let me know in the comment section if turning right on red is illegal anywhere that you know of. Are we allowed to do that? If I don't know, I just don't risk it. 
I know in Manitoba it's absolutely it's red light you can turn right no problem as long as there's no traffic coming right Grab some fuel. We're ready to rock and roll. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? Look at this. It's a breakfast pizza. America. Breakfast on a pizza. That is brilliant. I had just pulled into the Casey's in Pillager. According to my intelligence, this is where the cheapest juice was on my route today. Filled her right up. I'll probably be back down here in a couple of days is what I'm thinking. Oh, this guy's coming in here, isn't he? Okay, figured. I'll leave you some space, man. Come on in. You're good, you just got a little trailer, you're good. Gave me the thank you wave. In 200 meters, make a U-turn if possible and then turn left into 120 Why meters. Why would I go straight down this road and make a U-turn when I can just turn right, right here? It wanted me to go straight. Go make a U-turn at the dead end, come back, and then turn left and go at down here. Meters, turn right on, and turn County B, and then to Ken. Tucked away, a little bit dirty, but that's okay. You're a working truck. You're not supposed to look all pretty all the time, otherwise people wouldn't believe me when I say we work hard, right? 
So we're in the clutter of the shop. It's going to get a little bit more cluttered yet. We're uh, decluttering our house. So the house gets decluttered, the shop gets more cluttered. I haven't even organized from the last time we decluttered. Now I'm decluttering again. <laughs> but uh, we're done with rentals for the season now. We've uh, taken it off the market for the rest of the summer. Uh, we start again, I believe it's May 1st or for May long weekend anyways, it'll be available to rent. It's already booked for August long weekend next year in 2024. Uh, so sorry if you're hoping to rent it for that. Already booked a year in advance. Crazy, right? So the rest of all summer from May 1st to September 30th, 2024, aside from that weekend, is available to rent. You can always uh, email us at truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com and I uh, can send you our listing if you want to book with us. Uh, it's based in Steinbach, Manitoba, either for pickup or delivery. Delivery is, uh, depends, depends. But anyways, that's not what we're talking about right now. Uh, the trailer is officially done for the year. So I'll be cleaning it off, scrubbing it down. I'll be pulling it into the RV service center in the next mm, couple months. Sometime during the winter or so, see if they can do a full service on it and get a few little little things that need touched up, touched up so it's, so it's ready to go for next year. Old Blue is tucked away in here too. Very soon, Old Blue. We got a few things on the go. We got a few projects on the go at home right now. There's always something to do, but eventually we're gonna get around to this place. So I'm home just for the evening right now. Whoops, ba-ding, ba-ding. And for uh, tomorrow during the day, I'll probably be headed out again on another trip tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, uh, once we get a couple of this, a couple of these things done. But it was a good trip, just a little rounder. Brainerd to Thief River Falls and back. Old Blue's still doing good, not bad for an old girl, or an old boy, I don't know. An old truck, it's a tool. Not bad, three million kilometers, three million, 40,000 kilometers on, on the frame, the engine, like I was saying, way newer, but there's little things that pop up. There's always something, always something, but uh, hey, you just keep plugging away. Things break, you fix it. I ordered that new marker light for up there. We'll get that fixed. And then eventually something else will break and we'll fix that. And then something else will break and we'll fix that and we'll just keep on trucking. Thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. It was a fun trip with you all. Tomorrow, half the day will be at home, half the day will be on the road. I think over half the day will be at home. But uh, I'll talk to you then, though. Remember to stay safe out there. Please, drive safe on the roads. Think about everybody else out there, including me. I know you guys are the good ones. I appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow.